go through to the final. So there's your lineup for the first semi final. We have uh, Paddler from Canada, Italy, Germany, Argentina, Germany, Slovakia, New Zealand, Denmark, and Latvia. In lane one, it is Simon McTavish from Canada. Racing in lane one, the man in red, Simon McTavish. Next to him, representing Italy, Giacomo Cinti from uh, Italy in lane two. In lane three is Nico Paufler from Germany. One of the two Germans in this final, uh, semi-final, sorry. In lane four from Argentina, Augustin Vernis from Argentina. In lane five, the second of the Germans, Oleg Gosev. Of course, the Germans are also they're going through a selection process at the moment as well. Not for the 500, obviously, that's not an Olympic event, but uh, there's a lot on the line here for these paddlers. Dennis Mysak from Slovakia in lane six. And then in lane seven from New Zealand, Zach Firkins. Lane eight, Rennie Paulson, having had the euphoria yesterday of locking away that Olympic quota. Here he is back out in the 500 meters. And then in lane nine from Latvia, Janis Koretz from Latvia in lane nine. So one, first, second and third will go through to the final, fourth, fifth and sixth to the B final. And then seven to nine will go to a C final in the men's K1 500. Here we go. We are underway. Let's see what uh, we know that uh, we know that Paulson likes to go out hard. Will he try and blow this field away early? Gusev from Germany on your screen. Paulson just relaxing, taking it quite easy. It's Firkins from New Zealand. And across on the top of the screen, McTavish from Canada has raced out to grab hold of an early leader. I think it's uh, alongside uh, across the lane five. It is Gusev from Germany as well. And Vernis from Argentina. So now Gusev takes over in the lead. McTavish getting back into a rhythm now. He flew out of the starting blocks, but now just getting into a regular rhythm, sitting in second position. Venice from Argentina challenging for that second spot, and then a bit of a gap to the rest of the field. Paulson quite a way back at the moment. But Oleg Gusev there, he is making every post to win a paddling in a nice, strong race. McTavish staying consistent at the top of the course in lane one. Vernice from Argentina is also thereabouts. Just uh, he's a very experienced paddler, Augustin Vernice. You will know exactly when to apply the pressure on this race. In fact, even now it looks like he's starting to pick up the rate a little bit. Is he going to challenge for the lead? Is he happy to sit in second? I think he wants to win. I think he wants this race. He's putting in some hard yards. Where is McTavish? There he is at the top of the course. So at this stage, it's the German still, maybe the Argentina coming over the top of him towards the finish. It's going to be close. Argentina, ooh, Argentina ahead of Germany and Canada. Perfectly judged race there from the Argentinian. I said that he's an experienced paddler. He would know when to apply the pressure, and he did. He just put the foot down for the final 50 meters or so, and that was enough to get over the top of Oleg Gusev, who tried to lead all the way from go to woe. Just not able to hold on, though. Doesn't matter. He will go through to the final. And I think Simon McTavish in lane one held on for third to also progress to the final. So he left a little bit of work there. He was close enough, but with a bit of work to do. And let's have a look here. I think, well, McTavish got second, so yeah, Gusev really did stop over the last 50 metres. McTavish, a very good consistent race from the Canadian. He's got second, and Gusev from Germany has held on to finish third. All three will go through to the next round. Big thumbs up there. Got no response there from McTavish. Just looking straight ahead, focusing on the next, the next task. Vernis first, McTavish second, Gusev third. They will go through to the A final. Into the B final, it's Maisak from Slovakia, Paufla from Germany, and Rennie Paulsen gets through into the B final from Denmark, and then Firkins 